How's it going guys? It's Eclipse here and today's video we are looking at this monstrosity, the FE 4005 on World of Tanks console. Uh, this one is an absolute freak within the game, it is just crazy. Um, what is special about this tank? Well, to begin with, obviously, you have the highest alpha damage on any TD in the game with regards to your Hesh rounds. So you've got 1,450 hit points worth of damage, your alpha damage, on this tank, which means that you can basically um, sometimes one-shot some tier 8s that you'll come up against. Uh, it used to actually have like 1,850 alpha damage on its Hesh rounds with more penetration, but Wargaming decided that that probably wasn't balanced and so I guess um, you know it wasn't balanced and so uh, we've got this kind of version of it where it is slightly nerfed we do have a reduced alpha damage on its hash rounds but you do also have those AP rounds in this thing which do have the higher penetration and can deal 1150 alpha damage which is more than enough to kind of tempt your opponents uh, or not tempt your opponents to actually poke round the corner into you because nine times out of ten for them it's going to be bad. Uh, yeah, taking off chunks of 1,150 hit points off of them is something that not very many people are going to want to do. So what else do you get in this tank? Well, you get a decent amount of gun depression so I'm pretty sure you actually get 10 degrees of gun depression which means that you actually uh, can use it on some forms of ridge lines not everywhere because it is just so large but the gun depression works and it certainly is better than the uh, the FE 215B183 the other highest alpha damage tank in the game obviously there's two of them they're both British uh, this one is the paper tank so it doesn't have armor. Um, when you look at its armor model, it very it really doesn't have armor. You're basically an absolute glass cannon. Um, but what it does have over the more armored um, FE215B is flexibility. It's more mobile. Um, it is able to actually turn its turret more than the the FE215B183, and it also just has a couple of other things with regards to its. Um, accuracy it's actual um, statistics on on the gun that it does get this uh, 183 millimeter um, kind of naval gun almost um, yeah it, it certainly has the accuracy and the aiming time buffs over the uh, two 183s because as you can see on screen right now this is the base uh, 183 gun uh, 0.4 accuracy and 3.4 second aim time comparatively with the fe4 1005 which has 0.3 accuracy and 2.7 second aim time that is with a couple of perks on but it does kind of highlight the differences uh, between them you'll also find you are able to actually get a lot more shots in uh, with this tank than the the fe215b now what else does this this tank offer really uh, well it is the potential to just take off those huge amounts of hit points and previously it used to be so much more fun when you had the 1850 alpha it'd be really cool to see wargaming bring that back but on the he round so that you know you've got this standard round of 1150 the premium hesh round which gives you 1450 and then if you have take a severe cut in your penetration you could have that 1850 back would be really really interesting um, to have that kind of back in the game I know PC still have the 1850 but I think they got the penetration nerf wargaming console will be like well you can just have both of them you're going to have a reduced hash pen and you're going to have reduced alpha because um, yeah they basically nerf this thing quite heavily um, as it was quite strong in the previous game but you know it was one of those things where the tank can be pretty awful if you don't play it right and that's because it doesn't have armor and it's not the most mobile th tank in the game having you know 35 kilometers an hour maximum speed makes this thing a little less uh, mobile now before you know we get caught up in too much statistics I'm gonna play some games for you live and we're gonna have a look at what you can actually do in this thing we'll have a look at the setup of the tank at the end of the video so you can have a look at that if you want to actually um, kit out this tank gonna give you a couple of reasons as to why you'd actually want to pick up this tank and it, and it is genuinely such a fun tank to play and that that can't be said for many tier 10s in the game um, at least in 99% of the scenarios that you come into 
This one is just one of those that you can really punish those people that decide that they just have a little bit of um, a rush of excrement to the brain, if you know what I mean, and, and they just decide that they're going to YOLO you, it definitely isn't worth it for them, and <laughs> 9 times out of 10, you can just completely ruin their day, um, and, it, and it definitely, like, they don't get to accomplish their mission, which is to, to try and just YOLO you and ruin your game, actually ends up being the other way around, um, so yeah, that's always fun, uh, and that's certainly why I always used to play the FV 4005, and why it's one of my most played tanks in the game. Uh, obviously you can see I've remarked it so I have played it quite a lot and I did enjoy it enough to, to kind of spend the time uh, to actually remark it in the game which kind of sh shows you something I don't often uh, play that much at tier 10 with regards to the tanks that I own. Usually um, I'll grind out a tier 10 then I'll be back down to tier 6 to get up through the line of another tank because I don't actually have all of the tier 10s in the game. I don't know if you guys actually realise that because I see a lot of comments in the comment section down below saying like can you do a review of this and I'm like I don't even have the tier 5 yet so I'm kind of like in, in the midst of just trying to grind through all of the tank lines and, and get there for you guys whilst also producing um, the content that you, you're familiar with you know the update news and all of the various World of Tanks related um, content that you, you'll see now uh, what sort of positions do you want to actually want to take the FV4005 in? Well that's positions that you generally have cover um, because 9 times out of 10 if you get hit by an artillery round in this tank um, oh god it's, it's devastating uh, you'll lose the majority of your hit points um, as for some reason we're deciding that m mounting down the cliff is, is a good idea <laughs> oh god um, but yeah, it's certainly something uh, that you really, really don't want to want to be taking into a position where you're going to get hit from multiple angles. Um, and and yeah, you, you you've kind of got the the gun to be able to out trade opponents. So you want to be making sure that you're in one on one engagements where um, you pull around a corner or or you do something like that, uh, whereby you know you're not getting hit by opponents. Um, and then, and then you can like kind of pull back and, and reassess the situation, decide what you want to do next, and, and then you can go from there. Really, you definitely don't want to be brawling out with mediums because often their DPM can actually out trade you uh, within a really quick period of time. So, say if you're out in the middle of an open field or you're or you're pushing a medium tank, often what will happen is yes, you can fire one shot, but then they realise that you got a long reload of about 20 seconds where they can just farm you of hit points um, for, for the entirety of that time and often that will lead you to you know actually uh, get removed from the game because a lot of them will actually um, just continually then take the next hit if they have to and obviously you can bounce in this thing uh, especially if you're firing um, some uh, heavier rounds and you can see what we're about to do is take a nice old chunk of 1000 uh, hit points off of the E100. We managed to track him, which actually is quite good. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is what this tank is all about. You know, 1700 damage. I've literally, yes, I've hit three shots, but two of them were on tanks that literally didn't have the hit points for us to be able to farm them. But this is the sort of thing that I, I kind of enjoyed um, when you when you're having a bit of a, a tough time or, or you're just not enjoying the game at that current point in time. This is the one that I go to. It's the one that you know you can you can really punish people and and have a laugh whilst playing. And certainly when you're in a group of people uh, playing together, you can have even better games. Because um, what happens is you get everyone um, coming together as we hit the U100 there again, and he's been really his game has been well and truly ruined. To be honest with you, um, yeah. Now this VK is pushing up. He doesn't realise that this massive chunk of a tank is right here in the form of the FE4005. We're going to go for a shot on him. We did actually bounce, which is a shame. And we're stuck on the rock. Uh, but yeah, this is the one thing that you really don't want to be doing in the FE4005 is being out in the open where you don't know where some opponents are, especially uh, when there's enemy TDs on the game. What we will do now, though, is uh, we're going to take the hit from this guy 
even though we didn't, which is always good. Um, so yeah, we're, we're now kind of in a bit of a, uh, a rubbish spot, if, uh, if, for lack of a better word. Now, the, the T100 LT, uh, that's kind of the one that we need to get out of the way, because it could be a real nuisance, and luckily we are in good action. Yeah. So yeah, this is what I mean. You can just absolutely punish every single player that you come up against if you load the right rounds. Um, uh, luckily for us, the VK has decided that he's going to take out the defender, which is always good. Um, and what we're going to do now is actually try and... Oh, and we actually bounce, which is awful. Now we've got a long ass reload and he's going to come and try and farm us. Um, we have no support whatsoever, um, which is never good. Um, I'll just be quick. Otherwise, we can't be the back. Uh, we are going to have to push this guy. Oh, he fired. Oh, damn it. We've only got hash rounds actually available to us. What we need to do is yes, I might have to take the VK hit, but it means I won't get hit by whoever's at the back, so kind of annoying. Um, but sometimes you have to do that sort of thing, because if I got hit by him and then the VK, um, it could have been much, much worse. Luckily, we actually pen that shot, which is really, really good, because uh, that is the weak point of that tank. So if you if you didn't know that, it's that like bulky bit on the side of the turret, or, or the, side, the side of the tank, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, it, it's kind of that point of, of, the, of the tank that you want to be aiming at. Now we do know that there is someone back there and it's a bit risky. I knew that there was the M48 pattern somewhere close, um, but we didn't know exactly where he was, so that's kind of um, the main problem uh, within this kind of matchup. Now obviously I have no idea where this UDES or the E100 have actually gone. I don't think it was the E100 that was over there um, in this area over here. Um, I think the E100 may be kind of going back to the cap now. Uh, or at least that's what I would hope he'd be doing. Um, but take him out of the game because you don't have to aim with Hesh and he was on that little hit point. But it doesn't matter against the absolute might of the FV4005. Yeah, just it's been a decent game, you know, 5,800 damage nearly is nothing to real sniff at. Uh, it's not the best game you will ever have in the, in the FV because you know that's only a level of like six shots penned maybe. Uh, full penetrations that is with AP if you decide to fire that um, which yeah it, it's a good game but uh, it's not one that I'd want to have if I was going for my third mark because you do need about like 7,000 damage 8,000 damage in order to go up any decent percentage in this tank and, and that's um, the, the key kind of areas that you want to be looking at if you're trying to go for your marks and that's combined damage so if you can get that much damage Combined, you'll be pretty much set, and, and you'll be able to get some uh, some nice X or a nice mark percentage increases. Um, we will play one more um, just to kind of showcase one other feature of this tank and, and the way that I set it up. I am using actually the the advanced reload, I think it's called, where you can actually swap rounds. And this is one of the key things within this game is obviously making sure that you have that those kind of things. We're currently at three marks, which is actually not too bad. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that you have the advanced reload perk because it will help you out quite a lot um, in game. Because obviously, if you um, if you can swap between the ammunition, pick the best one for the target that you're aiming at. And considering you probably aren't going to outspot very many people in this tank, you're probably not going to need some of the other stuff uh, within the game. You definitely don't need um, necessarily some of the DPM perks, although I think I actually have it on this tank. It's kind of just um, a case of it will help out in more situations than necessarily spotting someone because it's not the kind of aim of this tank you want to be using it as kind of like a, a close quarters brawler kind of um but also snipe it, it, it's got to be played in quite a, a difficult place though i'd say it's not necessarily one of the easiest tanks to play uh, when you're jumping on world of tanks console but in the situations where you are in the right position where you do have enemies that you're coming up against especially those enemies that are lower tier than you if you're coming up against tier 8 it is one of the funnest tanks to play because the 240 millimeters of penetration on your hash rounds 
mean that you will pen pretty much every single tier 8 in the front, like uh, genuinely just straight through the upper plate. You're coming up against Tiger 2s, that is one of the tanks that you definitely want to see when you're playing in something like this. Um, just because it, it just doesn't really have armour, or at least its armour isn't effective at the tier that you are at. Um, so yeah, you can just remove every single drop of hit points that they thought that they had at the start of the game, uh, and then you can have some fantastic games yourself. So yeah, really, really fun to play. It, it's such a good tank, and, and I can't actually recommend it to you guys anymore. I think that if you haven't already played these high alpha TDs, it is such a good play style. Um, it's really good for if you're just chilling about and you don't want to have to like focus necessarily 100% of the time if you're just trying to like chill on, on an evening after after doing some work or, or you, you just want to have a, a good time on, on World of Tanks and you don't have to like stress about you know making sure that you get into the position fast and, and doing all of this sort of stuff then yeah this tank is, is kind of the one for you. We will try and get this Leopard if possible um, when he comes up. And uh, we've taken a nice chunk of 1,000 hit points away from him, <laughs> which he probably isn't too happy about, to be honest. Now, luckily, for the last two games, there has been absolutely no artillery in the game, which is, you know, that is pretty lucky, um, because you do have to stay artillery safe uh, where possible. You know, this is World of Tanks. Nine times out of ten, you can't stay artillery safe, um, because it's just not possible. Uh, but where you can, then you should be, um, essentially. We're having that silly uh, bug where your, your gun goes up in the air, which is annoying. Um, but we can't do much about that. I get this guy. There we go. We're on 2k damage nearly already, uh, which is really nice. And we've got an IS-3 that's pushing up. Um, it doesn't quite know about the, the lethal force. That we're about to rain down on him. And we may be in a bit of a, a rubbish spot here. I kind of have to pull it back. But we'll make sure. We Ugh. We didn't panic, which is actually really annoying. Um, hopefully, we don't have to stop fighting any of these. This is really not good. These aren't the positions you want to be in uh, where you're having to poke at people. It's just not. Not very fun. <laughs> As you can see, we're going to get um, stumped if this guy decides he's coming up. What we will do is just back away um, to try and get to the to this kind of hill area. We're going to, come up. And, uh, we're going to hit the G saw there. He obviously didn't realise that you know pushing into a the biggest gun in the game is not a good thing to do, and yeah, he got punished severely for that. Which I'm always happy about, you know, when you punish some people that don't quite know what they're doing, that are trying to get a little bit of a cheeky shot off on you and uh, remove them from the game this quickly. Oh, it's so fun. Really, really fun. And um, I hope this is kind of showcasing you, and, and I hope that these, these live gameplays do somewhat help you um, with deciding where you're positioning, where you're going. And I know that for most of you, you know, you're fairly casual on the game, you don't necessarily uh, want to be sweating out hours and hours of World of Tanks every day, but you know, I, I just hope that they they'll basically give you a little bit of an inclination as to some of the spots that, that will be helpful for you, and um, that will make you have a little bit of a better game than maybe um, you would have had before. Uh, so that's kind of my motivation for making some of these videos. Obviously, you know, being able to, to teach you guys as, as best as I can is, is also something that I do enjoy and, and hopefully they come across uh, well to you guys. Anyway. Um, obviously, you will have to let me know um, as we shut down the IS-3 there. <laughs> it just feels broken. Like, this tank still feels broken, you know. Imagine what it was like when it had 18 alpha damage. Yeah, it, w <laughs> it certainly was not fun for, for the people that you came up against as this um, 52 kilo. I say that, actually, we can't hit him. Now, are, are we deciding now to just load a, a hash round? Well, yes, we are. We can swap between ammunition at the bottom of the screen, you can see. We can just swap it as much as we want to. 
um, which is uh, we're going to go for the Capola. Oh, that's unfortunate. We might have bounced anyway, um, but that's another thing I should probably mention is that actually if you don't actually pen, you can still do like a consistent 500 damage um, to people. So if you can't actually pen with AP, then it might be worth just loading a, a Hesh round to be able to just deal damage straight away. Uh, that way you can just consistently get damage if you uh, if you wouldn't have uh, previously. And Scott, I don't know what but we did hit him for 600 there. You know, that's that's the turret of a 50 TP prototype. That's a heavily armoured tank, um, and we've just slapped him for 600. And, you know, you didn't really have to aim too much in this tank, and uh, and we've managed to get, a, what, 4.8k damage. Not the best game, once again, but it's enough to, to make you feel off on the marks of excellence. You know, we're slapping again for 600. And there we go, this is what I mean about the, the loading the Hesh rounds when you probably won't pen with the standard rounds. I'm not saying that you should fire Hesh at everything because, you know, the 240mm is a pen will not pen some tanks that you would have if you just loaded um, AP, which means you would have got more damage. Uh, but in some scenarios, it can be useful to, to decide to load that those kind of rounds in the game as we pick up another victory and 5,400 damage. Not a bad one. Uh, you know, I hope these games kind of showed you about the tank and if you want to see more gameplay on World of Tanks console like this, then certainly do so um, and let me know in the comment section down below. Obviously, let me know what you think of the FV4005 and whether you'd pick the um, FV215B183 or not uh, and then we'll, we'll kind of get a little bit of a discussion in the comment section down below, hopefully. Um, but one last thing before the video ends, I'll show you my equipment set up in the tank so that I can kind of fully explain what I mean by the uh, advanced reload perk um, as you'll see in a second hopefully as we get about a million things coming through uh, so here it is this is this is my perk setup or, or equipment setup we've got the advanced reload which allows me to swap between ammunition types without costing me the reload so I don't have to reload when I swap my ammunition type it only works in non-clip ammunition tanks so if I'm in an autoloader that won't work uh, so don't put it on autoloaders, although I don't think you can even put it on autoloaders. Uh, so I don't know why there's even a point in telling you that. Now, there is one last thing. Um, obviously, improve ventilation, just inc improve the crew performance a little bit and advance loader. You're probably not going to need the vision range uh, just because... I'm not going to outspot anyone uh, realistically in this tank. Don't really need the speed because it will only give me a little bit, and I'd rather have just the the overall um, aspect of this tank being uh, what it is. I went with um, large consumables because they are really really crucial uh, for playing in this tank. It, it, with most tanks, I won't use an enhanced med kit because you don't often get crew members knocked out multiple times but if people are firing HE at you which you can do against the FE4005 um, and because the, the turret is just that weak it does mean that some of your crew members get knocked out and having the premium consumable does make it a little bit less uh, boring to play and um, you won't be <laughs> knocked out with crew members for a period of the time in the game so yeah really really good tank overall hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did remember to like the video and subscribe for more and i hope to see you in the next video there will be some on screen right now that you can click on there's various different gameplay and, and guides and how to get better at world of tanks console videos so if you want to watch those uh, then you can do that on screen right now other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day and i hope to see you in the next one goodbye